You are the link between past and future generations. And have been entrusted with the survival of our species. The normal kids, I need to protect them. What's going on? You're drugging us. Drugging us. To prevent exactly this kind of thing from happening. Yeah! System restarting. In. Your... Hey, Cinemark, Dave Rispoli here with the cast of the upcoming sci-fi film, Voyagers. Now, we've seen a lot of stories that take place in space, but never one quite like this one. So I want to know what your first reaction was when you read the script. We'll start with you, Lily Rose. My first reaction when I read the script was, um, you know, just how unique this story was, because I think that it's really special to see um, a story that takes place, you know, so far from home, obviously, you know, they're, they're traveling to this to this distant planet, but at the same time that tells such a human story and we remain, you know, throughout, throughout the entirety of the story, so close to the humanity of the characters and to what they're going through emotionally. And I thought that was a really beautiful, um, you know, and, and special detail about the movie. And so I was really struck by, by that. And, uh, and that's what really made me want to tell this story. And how about for you, Ty? I think it's an interesting canvas for this story to take place. Um, I think that, you know, because the characters are in isolation on this space mission, um, trying to get to this far off distant planet, um, it's going to take them 90 years to get to. Um, you, you really, the movie becomes hyper-focused on the characters and their natures, you know, and, uh, and the dilemmas that they, you know, encounter um, when they start to feel their, their truest desires. What kind of uh, preparation went into this? I mean, these are two characters that are experiencing something that, that no current human has experienced. You know, I think that when building this character, it was really important to remain, you know, connected to the the, the real human emotions that she's feeling because um, that, again, is really, to me, at the core of the story. And I think that because of the lack of, um, you know, background. These characters have never known anything but this mission, and so there wasn't kind of a, a a backstory to rely on to nourish the character. I think it was important to stay close to those emotions that she was feeling and and feel really connected to those. Um, and as far as like getting into the whole thing, I listened to a lot of like kind of spacey sounding like ambient music and everything to feel like I was like in another dimension or something. Yeah, <laughs> so that was I love that. How about for you, Ty? Largely, I think I was focused on stripping down the character, you know, to, to his bare bones, you know, because they're, these characters don't really have any reference to, to society or to any culture, you know, they've, they've basically been born and bred for this mission um, and sent into space when they're seven years old. So it's, it's almost all they've ever known, which is interesting. You all come from a, a, a unique place, you know, where there's a, a unique culture, and I think the movie, these characters, it's, it, for them, it's just void of that. And so that was really fun to, to get into and fun to explore. And uh, yeah, in retrospect of that, you know, it, it really allows for their natures to become more more nuanced, more raw, more um, more honest and, and uh, without inhibitions. Medication mm. to decrease pleasure. Mm. I'm not drinking it. What does it feel like to feel something? This film was a wild ride and something that I haven't seen before. So how did this idea first come about? Well, the idea came about just some images popped in my head of young people on a spacecraft kind of sitting on the floor in real confined setting. And I thought, what's, what's going on here? Who are these people? And then I just started to kind of tease out a story and it was some images that hadn't, you know, that, that didn't leave me. And so I figured out, you know, a story that kind of encapsulated all of it and you know the, the result was Voyagers. Now we are a movie theater so I'll ask you why Voyagers should be experienced on the big screen. Well I'm you know a huge proponent of seeing movies in the theater and, and I'm so glad that Lionsgate sees this as a theatrical movie um, and I just feel like that communal experience of 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 gasping when you're, you know, the rest of the people in the theater are gasping or laughing at the same time. There's something that kind of just brings a completely added, um, you know, effect to that. And that experience is just powerful. And I think it's, you know, really that communal experience is really human. And it's, you know, it's, it's, I think it's important and fun. Absolutely, folks. Do not miss your chance to experience Voyagers on the big screen. So get your tickets at cinemark.com. He can't protect you. Protect us from what? Break off! In. All. In. Your.